You can win a cool $5,000 by answering this easy question. SMS A, B or C to 777 and you can walk away with this nice cash prize. SMS now. Congratulations to last week's winner. Hello and welcome. This is IOL Dash for Cash Winner Mariba. Look at nine of our IOL students right here playing for that 50,000. But as you know, only two of them can do it. We have the famous UN Park right here in Chumep. Contestants, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes! Get some energy into yourself because we're about to play for 50,000. But only two of you will go ahead and play. But there is something you wanted to share with me as well. When, if it is 30,000, the two contestants they will share the we will have 15, 15. And then from there, the two contestants they will share with three, three. Each one will give 500 for the contestants. So what you're basically telling me right here is, if it's 30,000 and up, the rest of the contestants will get 500 each. Yes. And then the other guys will share the money halfway. The two guys playing for it. Thank you, and that is the final decision. Okay, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, IOL Cash for Cash. We're about to play this, but first, our elimination round. Grab a flag, come back to me. From there, we'll decide who's playing IOL Dash for Cash in Chumet this week. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, you can come back, my dear. You can come back. The selection process was simple. Our production crew planted nine IOL branded flags all over the park. Our nine hopefuls each had to collect a flag and return to the starting point. If the number drawn by Webster corresponded with the number on the flag, they become one of the two final contestants. But as was the case at Oshakati and Rebot, our IOL students decided that the eventual winners will award $500 to each of the seven contestants that will be eliminated in the elimination round. A thoughtful gesture indeed. Let's choose who's playing IOL Dash for Cash this week for $50,000. Here we got our balls numbered between that one and nine that you have. Number five is playing with us. Number five, please just join me right here. Right there. Thank you very much. Number five is playing with us. And here we go. Number 10 is playing with us. Thank you very much, contestants. This is IOL Dash for Cash. You guys are not going empty handed. Grab a bag right here. The guys over there. Grab a bag. Grab a bag. Cosmos Andreas and Lucia Philippus are our two lucky contestants. It was goodbye to the other seven eliminated contestants, but they each received an IOL hamper from our production team to reward them for the effort. And still a further $500 to come from the agreement they've reached before the elimination round. Remember the story of sharing, we agreed to, uh, to share, uh -huh. at least something. Uh -huh. IOL Dash for Cash To all new and existing IOL students, enroll for any IOL course and grab a brand new Novi Tech Book, including an online business course from as little as $430 per month. It's packed with all the features you'd need in a study tool. You'll also receive a 300 megabyte data bundle on a monthly basis. And your choice of either a Kodak 12 megapixel digital camera or a Samsung J753G cell phone absolutely free. And you get free life cover. It's smart learning at your fingertips with IOL and TechBook. Education is the greatest equalizer. 
Don't let funeral costs wear you down. Get double the cover from as little as 40 Namibian dollars per month, only from Funeral Shield and Funeral Shield Plus. Your cover was 10,000 Namibian dollars for funeral and 20,000 Namibian dollars for accidental death. Now your cover gets doubled. Simply SMS funeral to 711 and one of our consultants will contact you or call us on 061-2754-111. This is IOL Dash for Cash. Andreas and Lucia are the two lucky ones going through to play for that money. Your first task, guys, is to go to the open air museum. The IOL sedan will take you there. Get into the car and go to the open air museum right now. You can go. The first challenge was all about speed, strategy, focus and concentration. Our two contestants had exactly 15 minutes to complete this task, which took place at the landmark Yalvi Impingana Kondombolo Cultural Village at Chumeb. Hello Andreas. Yes. How are you today? I'm okay and you? Okay. This is it Andreas. You must find Maribetta at the door. Okay. She will give you your first clue. Okay. Which will take you to the next clue and so it will go on. You've got about nine of them that you have to find. For each clue you don't collect or finish, you will be punished for a thousand dollars, which is not good. I want you to hold on to that money, okay? Okay. Complete the task in 15 minutes. Your 15 minutes starts right now. Okay. Um, you are going to find this the homestead, we are calling Himba homestead. Mm -hmm. we, we are located the different homestead, the different culture of Namibia, mm -hmm. the different tribe of Namibia. This is the map of the whole Namibia. We try to locate the different homestead, the different area where Namibia they are living. You just go now, mm -hmm. let you follow me, okay. I can show where. The task required our two contestants to collect various clues and perform various tasks at the different exhibition homesteads at the cultural village. Lucia and Cosmos received instructions to collect their very first clue from the curator of the cultural village, Meme Rebecca. Second clue, go to the father's hut at the Oshivambu homestead. Clue number three, take the Mahangu grain to the grain store at the Oshivambo homestead. Fourth clue, collect the drum at the Oshivambo homestead and take it to the Kavango homestead. Number five, beat the drum until you hear a second drum. Then go and find the second drum. Clue number six, collect a bow and arrow at the Caprivi homestead and take it to the Sun homestead. We'll get, we'll get next clue. Yeah, go and sit. Oh, it's Shoot down the balloon and collect the clue in the balloon. Clue number nine. 
go to the Herrero homestead and collect the next clue. The tenth clue. Go to the Nama homestead and collect a baked goat head. And the last clue. Collect a loaf of bread at the Afrikaner homestead and take it with a goat head to the Damara homestead. Excellent Cosmos and Lucia, a good start indeed. They've managed to complete all the tasks and did so within the allocated 15 minutes. And by doing so, they still have the whole $50,000 in the kitty. <laughs> Waiting at the Damara homestead was a former Tsumeb mayor and local businessman Engel Navatisev, who was to take our two contestants to their next destination. Webster phoned and instructed Cosmos and Lucia to ask Mr. Navatisev to take them to the Tsumeb Museum. Hello? Yes? Okay, guys, you are on your way to the museum at the moment. Okay. okay. That's the destination you are heading for. When you get there, find the curator at, this, at the museum. She will give you your first clue. Okay. And that clue will send you to the next clue. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. okay? You've got five minutes when you arrive at that point. Five yeah. minutes to complete that task. Okay. Uh -huh. Is that okay? Okay. 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 We're waiting for you. The second task was again a strategy task. Our two contestants again had to collect a series of photo clues within a time allocation of five minutes. Each photo clue will guide them to their next photo clue. Altogether, ten photo clues. They've received their first photo clue from the friendly museum curator and they took off. If their performance in the first round is anything to go by, this task should be a walk in the park for Lucia and Cosmos. Again, it's all about focus, all about speed and strategy. Oh yeah. Come on, Cosmos and Lucia, keep your cool. Time is running oh. out. Bring the picture. Bring the picture. Bring the picture to see. Who is it? Is the, that one? Okay. Oh. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Andreas. Yeah. How are you, man? We are fine, and you? Okay, good. Your time is up at this point, so I want you to come out and meet me at the locomotive right here in the foyard. Okay. Okay. Come out right now and let's find out what you have. And time ran out eventually. Not so good around at all. Between them, Lucia and Cosmos have only collected six out of the ten clues. Thank you, guys. 
Thank you. Thank you. All right. You okay? Nice. All right. Lucia, Andreas, you needed to find 10 puzzle pieces. You only managed to get six of them. $4,000 for that. $2,500 because you didn't make it on time. But now, this is your next task. You have to go down the road, go to the entrance of the old Chumep copper mine. There, you will find the IOL sedan car, which will take you to your next destination, which is Lake Oshikoto. Your time starts now. Five minutes only. Go. Webster now instructed Cosmos and Lucia to run to the entrance of the Chumep copper mine, about a kilometer away. They had five minutes to report to the driver in the IOL sedan who was waiting on them at the entrance. Making good and steady progress at a comfortable pace, Cosmos is a true gentleman, taking Lucia's hand to allow her to keep up with the pace. Let's hope his wife doesn't see them running in the streets. And they've reached their destination with a few seconds to spare. Good work. Nearing the halfway mark, Lucia and Cosmos have made steady progress. They are still in it for a $43,500 jackpot. Let's hope they keep it this way, because the more mistakes they make, the more they lose. Our IOL sedan took our two contestants to the landmark Ochikoto Lake. Andreas, okay, this is it. You are at Lake Oshikoto. Make your entrance. As you go down around the lake, you will find 10 balloons. Yeah. yeah. Pop the balloons and bring the flags back as you make your way to the exit as well. Okay. okay. One balloon is worth $1,000. You must bring me all 10 flags. Okay. Thank you very much. I will find you there. Okay, you've got five minutes. Your time starts now. Okay. okay. Go. The instructions to perform the next task was straightforward. Find and pop 10 IOL balloons attached to IOL flags around the lake perimeter. Bring back the 10 flags to Webster. 10 balloons, five minutes. Make it. Let's check. Let's check. Check a minute. Minutes. Yeah, the other one. Take a minute. Our two teammates seem to have learned their lesson at the Chumip Museum where they lost $6,500 altogether. Lucia and Cosmos are not having any of that this time around. And at this pace, they can make it. And they've done it. All 10 balloons popped and all 10 flags brought back in under five minutes. Congratulations, good work indeed. Okay, this is it, how does the body feel? Let's count them, let's count them. Help me out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on here, come on here. Thank you. Okay. This is it. They were standing at 43,500. Lucia. Andreas. There's a truck waiting for you outside. You've got 43,500. Hold on to that. Go get in the truck, which will take you to Autotech right now. I'll give them a call once we get to Autotech to give them their next stop.
The truck was to take them to the Autotech headquarters about 20 kilometers outside the mining town for their next challenge. Building, yes, where the parcel game of IOL is awaiting you. Okay, remember one block is worth 625. Go play that game, it is a time challenge. And once you are done, get into the IOL car waiting for you outside as well, and that will take you to your final destination. Okay, go in. Okay. Great, they're playing the IOL parcel challenge right now. And up next was the IOL Computer Picture Puzzle Challenge. 16 puzzle pieces moved into the right positions on the computer grid will depict the IOL logo. They had 60 seconds to complete the stars. This task is all about concentration and focus. To complete the puzzle in only 60 seconds may look easy, but it is not. For every piece missed, they lose $625. And time ran out. Combined with nerves and substandard mouse skills, Lucia and Cosmos made a mess of this task. Only 7 out of 16 pieces moved onto the grid. A very poor effort indeed. The jackpot comes down with $5,625. Still only $37,875 to play for. Cosmos and Lucia were very worried now. With their poor showing in the computer puzzle challenge still fresh in their minds, they were now getting ready for their final task. They got on board on one of the compartments of the Fal Yalpi, which is a vintage tractor owned by a Chume pensioner, Mr. Chris Ayres. Mr. Ayres uses the vehicle to raise funds for the Cancer Association of Namibia. Lucia and Cosmos have decided to share the final jackpot, but they still didn't have a clue of what was waiting on them at their final destination at the old mine shaft. Welcome. Thank you. Currently, you stand on 37,875. You see? And then, you remember that you've decided that you are sharing for the other contestants at the elimination round, right? They've said it's a $500 for each, which brings it to 3,500. So now you guys will play for 34,375. What have you decided? Are you sharing or not? Are you sharing? You sure? Okay. And there we are. This is the Anu that you have right here. Remember, if you are sharing, one person must finish this or this. Who's doing it? You will do it. Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Lucia, Andreas, you've got three minutes to finish this challenge. Are you ready? You are ready. Your time starts now. Go. Three minutes. 17,187 dollars. Remember, you can lose everything. 
So what was the final challenge? Cosmos as the final player had to eat up an aloe leaf. Aloe leaves are certainly healthy, but to consume a big aloe leaf all on your own can be very difficult indeed. Besides the bitter taste, one has to deal Monsieur? with chewing the fibers and swallowing the flesh. What are you, what are you thinking at the moment? What are you thinking? Uh, I think this one, maybe it's very, very yeah. so chill. It is very tough. It's tough, eh? Mm, it is tough. 17,187 in your hands at this point in time. Are you going to hold on to that or are you going to lose it? We'll find we, out. We will try. You will try. Mm. Cosmo started off with a bang, but soon the bitter taste got to him. But Lucia was there to offer support and most importantly Andreas, encouragement. You've got 30 seconds and that's what you're left with. Only 30 seconds. You have to finish that right now. Okay. Put it in. You've got 30 seconds left. You've got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, my man. 17,187. Check your time. You've got your time there. You can do it. Can you do it? This is IOL. Dash for cash. This is what's happening. Andreas. Just follow it slowly. Cosmos rose to the occasion in the end. He finished his aloe leaf in the allotted time. Congratulations. Open your mouth, Andreas. Open. He's got it. He made it. 17,187 for you, Lucia, okay. as well as Andreas. 17,187. This is IOL Dash for Cash. Winner Mariba style. Remember, education is the greatest equalizer. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations, Congratulations to our two contestants from Tumet, Lucia Philippus and Cosmos Andreas. Keep on watching. We're coming to your town as well. This was a very, very, very challenging stuff. I never saw it in my life. Oh, I was thinking so hard because uh, when I look at my brother, he's trying to do, but he at least he managed to do it, although it was so tough. Join us again next week for the IOL Dash for Cash as we travel to the garden town of Okahanja, where another two lucky contestants could play for a possible jackpot of $50,000. Join us again next week, same time, same channel. IOL Dash for Cash.